Hello, this is Christopher Grunlin, the Juggling Writer, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite tools for research, Evernote. Some of you may be asking, what is Evernote? Evernote is an application that allows you to keep all your research in one place. It allows you to clip things from the web, make notes, make audio notes, as well as store all your photos, tag everything, and always keep them where you can access them, whether at home or on the go with your cell phone. Evernote's compatible with PCs and Macs, Android-based phones, and in my case, I'll be using an iPhone. I'm going to be moving kind of fast during this video, but if you want a full step-by-step, -step, check the links down below. To fully use Evernote, you have to download Evernote from the evernote.com website, and there you could also download the Web Clipper application that allows you to clip web pages, as well as going to whatever phone you have and downloading the app. So now that you know what Evernote is, you might be asking yourself as a writer, how can I use Evernote? With Halloween approaching, I'm going to pretend that I'm writing a story about an alien zombie. So let's say I'm out surfing the web and I come across a story about an alien buried in a graveyard in Aurora, Texas. I create a notebook in Evernote called Aurora, and then I go to Wikipedia for more information. Using the Evernote web clipper, I clip the website. The great thing is, once you have that content in Evernote, you can always have it handy in your phone or in your computer. The other great thing is, even if the person who owns that site takes it offline, which has happened to me in some writing research in the past, you always have it handy. And as long as that site is always active, all the links and everything else work. Being able to find things that you've saved online is great, but where Evernote really becomes something powerful for a writer is when you use it away from your desk. Let's get back to that zombie alien story. I research and find out I'm not too far from Aurora, Texas, where the aliens supposedly crashed in the late 1800s. That means it's time for a road trip! So I head west, enjoying the Texas landscape. As I get close to Aurora, I'm careful not to blink, because it flies by fast. At the entrance to the cemetery, I notice the historical marker, and I want to take a photo. So I pull up Evernote on my phone, and I tap the plus symbol. That pulls up my options, and in this case, I'm going to be taking a snapshot. So then I tap the snapshot button, and that pulls up the phone's camera. I line up my shot, I take it, and then Evernote gives the option to retake or use the photo on the preview screen. I'm happy with this photo, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Then Evernote gives the option to name the photo and give a description to the photo. When I get home and sync things, the photo with the description is already waiting for me in Evernote. Now it's time to head into the cemetery. As I get near the grave of the alien, I realize I'm a little overwhelmed when I take the photo. Since I'm worried about being stung, I take a fast photo like usual instead of using Evernote's snapshot feature. But that's okay because I can still add the photo to Evernote when I get home. Sometimes when you're out in the field doing research, you find things that you didn't even know existed. This gravestone is just too cool to pass up. Every horror story needs a talking zombie bird after all. You could type notes in Evernote on your phone, but that could be a little difficult when you're out and about. It's much easier to make an audio note. Evernote makes that easy as well. All you have to do is tap the plus symbol and then tap the audio button to record your message. When I get home, research Loretta Talking Bird. Tap to stop when you're done and then save. Then when you get home, you can listen to the message. When you're done doing your on-site research, hop into your car and head home. Everything that was captured on site in the cemetery is waiting in Evernote on your computer. This is just a quick example showing how you can keep track of all your writing research in Evernote. I didn't cover things like tags and a few other things. Like I said, if you go to the link down below, I have a page on my website showing more detailed steps. I'm Christopher Grunlin, the Juggling Writer. I hope this video helped. And remember, this Halloween, watch out for alien zombies with talking birds.